Today we're going to take a look at 100 things you still might not know in Super Mario Maker 2. Let me know in the comments how many you knew. In the SMB3 style, a Chain Chomp will break free from the Stomp after biting exactly 51 times. In the Super Mario World style, Yoshi normally ducks when using his tongue, but by holding up, he won't duck at all. Mario can make a dry bone shell spin around when he is inside of a liquid by simply pressing up or down. If Mario picks up Tanuki Luigi, he can use the Tanuki flying ability as well. This can also be done with other power-ups. Yoshi's tongue is longer in the NSMBU style than in the Super Mario World style. Boosts can pass through everything, except through their own kind. Mario can move a Koopa upwards if he throws his shell right as the Koopa enters that shell. Link's bombs explode faster than normal bob bombs Mario can enter a pipe backwards using the Cape Feather or Link power-up. Mario can enter a pipe while playing dead in a drybone shell. Enemies are slippery in a Snow Knight theme. Mario can push Luigi into a pipe by simply walking against him. Mario can push a car faster while he duck walks into it. Enemies never wake up if they're being held by SMB2 Mario. Blast the bullets don't explode either. Mario has a different death sound effect if he gets killed by auto scroll. P speed does not reset after entering a pipe or door. Yoshi automatically spits out a tongued player after he gets dismounted. When wearing a shelmet, Mario cannot be ground pounded by other players. Snowballs count as enemies because they disappear if Mario touches the moon. A Banzai Bill's hitbox briefly disappears when he is turning around. The fuel of a Bill Mask can be refueled by twisters and trees. Goombas spawned by a Magic Koopa in the 3D World style behave differently and act like Goombas from the NSMBU style. The reach of a Twister's Wind gets blocked off by liquids. A Koopa car can insta-kill Boom Boom and Pom Pom. Mario can kick a shell diagonally by spinning with a Cape Feather and holding the shell. Shelmets and masks won't fall off when getting crushed. You can use Yoshi's tongue to move in a direction without actually looking in that direction. Mario's hitbox enlarges when he ducks. Cannon sprites in the SMB1, SMB3 and Super Mario World style look different in the menu. Bowser Jr. occasionally starts throwing shells after being hit twice. If the screen shakes, you can see a blue type of block above spikes that are placed on top of the level. When inside a claw, you can press down and jump at the same time to drop down instead of jumping out. When ground pounding, Mario can move slightly left and right. Not only can Mario do a normal jump off a node block, but he can also do a spin jump off of it. Ducking on a white semi-solid long enough in the SMB3 style will make Mario do a very small jump. Mario can flutter in water when holding the jump button in the NSMBU style. Yoshi can spit out poison if he eats a poisoned fish. Yoshi can be pushed by slowly walking into him. Mario can run through Bowser in SMB1, SMB3 and Super Mario 3D World styles. Yoshi's tongue goes through solid blocks in the Super Mario World style, but not in the NSMBU style. A parkour puffer that explodes can destroy hard blocks. The sound of a pink node block depends on its height in the level. Mario cannot enter a pipe when a Piranha Creeper is placed on the side of that pipe. Dash blocks make Mario enter pipes automatically. Twisters can also be used from underneath. In the Ground Knight theme, boosts flip their behavior. Now they chase you when looking at them. Vines that come out of a block on a track stop growing after a short while, while vines that come out of a stationary block will grow forever. Stretch boosts always move, except for in the Ground Knight theme. They will stop when Mario looks at them. Donut blocks slow down in lava, but not in water or poison. If a parachuted thwomp hits Link's shield, the thwomp will lose the parachute. Small Mario, Big Mario and Giant Mario all weigh the exact same. In low gravity, Mario can enter an upside down pipe by doing a ground pound. Lakito flies away after having thrown 4 power-ups. Jumping off Yoshi makes it impossible for Mario to turn around until he lands in the NSMBU style. Mario can reset a bullseye build by picking him up and throwing him again. A Monty Mole keeps running in a direction if Mario suddenly plays dead in a dry bone shell. You can rotate the arrow by holding down the place button and moving around the arrow. 
Cat Mario can only climb through hidden blocks if he is climbing on a solid wall. With good timing, you can trigger an on-off switch from another area. By playing dead in the dry bone shell, Mario can pass through flagpoles and axes. Apart from the eraser, Mario is also afraid of a fire burner in the editor. P Mario always faces upwards in a claw. Enemies that contain a key cannot be put on a track. Frog Mario needs to hold an item to run over water. This can also be done by holding a player. Poison Mushrooms run away from Star Mario. You can make Bowser Jr. in a clown car throw bob bombs instead of shells by setting a shell clear condition. This can also be done for Bowser, but the other way around. Boomerangs can only move downwards, but not upwards. A dry bone shell insta-kills all bosses. Mario can still do mid-air shell jumps in the Super Mario 3D World style with the aid of a dash pad. Thwomps can be moved upwards by simply throwing a crate into them from below. In multiplayer, the death animation keeps playing until it goes off screen. In the 3D World ground theme, there are two flagpoles, one in the background and one in the foreground. Both small and big cannonballs have no weight at all. Mario can wall jump off screen underneath and above spikes. Mario cannot bring spike balls to a snow area and snowballs to a non-snow area. They will always break. Link's sword can activate hidden blocks. If moving very slightly in a clown car, Mario can fly the other direction that he is looking in. Magikoopas cannot teleport when they're inside of a stack. In the Super Mario 3D World style, Mario can kill bullet bills if he activates a question block as the bullet flies over. Yoshi can lick P. Mario. Luigi cannot pick up an item if Mario is standing on it. Throw balls are not affected by water at all. Magic can only pass through a solid wall by placing a thwomp on top of that wall. Bob bombs can explode inside Yoshi's mouth. Mario will automatically duck on dash pads to fit under a low ceiling. Link can bomb surf using a shield and a thwomp. Mario can carry over the nut boost after collecting another power up with precise timing. Poison mushrooms can be taken to day theme areas by using Yoshi. Blaster bullets are faster than bullet bills, bullseye bills, and bonsai bills. Giant Mario can activate a question mark block instead of breaking it using a neat little trick. Using this cool trick, Mario can do a ground pound in a two tile gap. Mario can hold shells while the star is active if he collects the star while already holding the shell. SMB2 Mario can pick up spike tops. Holding Z when in the air will make Mario fall slower than when you're not holding Z. By turning around the Koopa car right before you hit a brake block, you can break the brake without damaging the car. Link actually has a ducking animation that he uses if he gets blocked after finishing a stage. Mario can enter a pipe on a P-switch. Using a Bill Mask, you can do one-sided wall jumps to gain a lot of height. The bottom of two tile high launchers looks different from other launcher heights. Mario can spin jump off of a worn shellment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed.